Do I look fat? Is it the stage? Or just reality? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. If I say sideways, is that better? Okay. Ha. Uh, you guys aren't laughing that much. Okay. So, guy earlier was like, yeah, you know, if you sit on your hand, it goes numb. Well, I do that for masturbation. If you sit on your hump, you know, your hand, it goes numb, you jerk off, it's like someone else is doing it to you. It's fucking great. It feels really good. Why does every black dude have the same impression of a white guy? They're all like, oh my god, I just saw Becky, and she was like totally like this. I'm like, That's, is that not reverse racism? I was like, I'm a little offended sometimes. Is that, okay? is that not okay to say? And I also have a, a, a black dude who calls me, he, I'm his nigga. I'm like, he says that. Is that not okay to say back? Because, <laughs> once again, I feel a little offended there sometimes. Should I go to HR? No? If I go to HR, hey, black dude's calling me nigga. How's that handled? <laughs> you don't know either, right? See? It's a tough situation. <laughs> yeah, I got notes here, so here we go. Oh. Women, you know this is true. Guys, you won't admit this, but whenever we're doing something with you, we want you to th admit that it's the first time we're doing it. All right? Hey, you want to do anal? Mm, maybe. Just do it slow. Go out, oh, too fast, no. oh, this is your first time, yeah, I've never done it, oh. <laughs> Come on my tits, come on my face. <laughs> I've never done this before. Bitch, I know you've done this before, just pretend it's your first time, okay? <laughs> Make me feel good. We'll just pretend it didn't happen and that'll be the end of it. We don't talk about things. <laughs> and, and that's how you get relationships going, right? You don't talk about uncomfortable things. You just kind of let it go. Let it go a little while, and you just learn to live with it. Because that's what makes things work. You gotta be, you gotta have some uh, latitude. Latitude is a word, I guess. It's a big word. If you guys don't know what it means, look it up. I don't know. Google that shit. Has anyone here ever dated a stripper? Nope. <laughs> you guys are all from Connecticut, right? That's why, right? You guys have never been nowhere. All right. I, I, you go to Costco? I've been 86 there like seven times. Free samples? I'm the last guy you want there on Free Sample Sunday. I'm going out each line like four times. They're like, dude, we know you. Please. I'm also big on making a... I'm more of a modern day troller, which is hard to do because everyone's got their phone in hand all the time. So you gotta make up like fake facts to fuck with people. I'll be like, hey, you know what? Cardboard was invented in 1876 by a German scientist on accident. People be like, oh yeah, cool, sweet. You gotta hope they don't look at the phone real quick. You gotta play that shit off. Or like, hey, you know kangaroos can talk? <laughs> like, what? Oh yeah, they're like parrots. They can do like little short sentences. They can't answer you, but you can teach them to say shit. And they're like, oh yeah, okay, good, cool, cool. That's shit straight. <laughs> and um, also, has anyone here ever dated a stripper? Nope. <laughs> you guys are all from Connecticut, right? That's why, right? You guys have never been nowhere. All right. I, I, <laughs> that explains it. Okay, so here's how it works. When you date a stripper, there's a sliding scale, okay? How hot she is and how crazy she is, okay? And when they level out is when you get out, okay? So they're super hot, so much fun. Got to be a good time, like the party, go out. Do stripper things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like, you wake up three days later, like, what the fuck did I do? I don't know. A bunch of mess and coke, and I can't remember my name. But that's cool. But she's super hot. And then she starts trying to have a relationship. They're like, oh, boy, well, hit the brakes. You have how many kids? You want to move in where? <laughs> and that's when you just slowly just, like, break the wrist, walk away. Like, <laughs> Funny thing is, they won't follow. Because they're going to work the next night. And they're going to be like, hey, you look like my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> and I'm going to hang out with you. <laughs> and then you just give that guy $20 for lap bands, and then you let, just let her do her work. <laughs> and then you're going to go. <laughs> I know it's bad to say, but it's true. But it's true. <laughs> All right, so I'm six foot five. I'm Irish, and I'm single. Which is great if it's St. Patrick's Day, but all other 363 days of the year sucks. 
<laughs> I'm not even sure how many days of the year there are. I may be wrong on that, but I mean, it's, it's just how it is. <laughs> but hence being Irish, I get the excuse, right? Because fuck it, I'm probably drunk right now. But if you need an Uber, I will be driving later. So. <laughs> Nah, fuck Uber. I don't do Uber. My car's too old, they won't let me. <laughs> oh, you guys are assholes. Anyway, um, <laughs> So, have you noticed when you, when you fall down and, and you eat shit, someone's like, hey, you know what? Hey, walk it off. No, I don't want to walk it off. I just fucking fell down walking. Why the fuck would I want to get back up and walk some more when I just fucking fell down? No, I'm going to sit here and fucking rub it off, and I'm going to get up in a minute. And if I can, bring me a wheelchair. Do something. No, I'm not going to walk shit off. Okay? I'm already hurt. That's just stupid. <laughs> Any middle fingers? No? I don't see you me off. No? <laughs> Look, this guy just pointed. What are you pointing at? You're the anal sex guy. <laughs> I'm New York prison, all out of the middle of the day. I left my big hat in my room with the car, but I go get it. That's Which is name. not an Uber, I already said this. Right. I can't come back. No, it's alright, you brought that on yourself. Uh, alright, so. Anyway, I hate all of you. So, anyway, <laughs> you guys like zombie movies? Because zombies fuck, piss me off. Yeah, if you like zombie movies, you have two zombies. You have Walking Dead zombies that do this shit. And World War Z zombies that fucking sprint after you. That's a problem for me, okay? That's a big fucking problem for me. Because if you have a World War Z zombie, we're all going down. No one sprints that fast. <laughs> Walking Dead zombies, I can live through, alright? I'll throw some arrows, do golf club, some bullshit. But I can't sprint more than 20 yards and get out of breath. You got these motherfuckers sprinting after me, we're all gonna die. And that's some bullshit. So if there's gonna be a fucking zombie apocalypse, I want some specifications on what zombies are we getting. Because that's gonna decide where I hide. It's either be somewhere that's real high and real safe or in a tree with a golf club. Which is a big fucking difference. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just about out of time here. So thank you very much. And uh... <laughs>